Hello, I'm Carolyn Ward and welcome to The Optimist Heart. If you've made your way here, then you probably already know about the Centre for Optimism. And it really is. It's a centre in terms of a hub, in terms of a, a kind of amazing bright bubble, which brings into it some of the most big hearted and bright minded people that you would ever want to know. Victor Purton is the person, they call him that optimist man. <laughs> He's known as that. And Vic's naturally very optimistic, very bright and, you know, we said bubbly. And what he's done is he's created this, as I said, a bubble of attraction for like-minded, like-hearted people who in this time more than any other want to um, be able to keep moving through day by day, not just surviving, but actually transforming in this time, utilizing this great pause to plant the seeds of what we're becoming, of what we're co-creating together. So the optimist heart is like a, a bubble within a bubble, if you like. I lived in Chile for the last 13 years. Well, I'm back a little while now in Australia, but there's this great story there about this captain in the army whose name was Alberto Larguivel. He had a stallion horse called Wasso, and to this day, his record for show jumping stands. So he and this incredible stallion set the record back then it was eight feet one inch so what's that nearly two and a half meters or just over two and a half meters and when they asked him how did you accomplish this very in a very nonchalant way he looked at them and and said all I do is I just take my heart I throw my heart and we follow it I get emotional when I think about that. It moves me because I think that's what the optimist heart is. It's this heart that is ready to leap into and over obstacles, into the unknown, ready to go on the adventure, having faith that it's going to get there. And then we just follow it. But I don't think everybody's born with that kind of a heart. I certainly wasn't. Um, but I've been able to cultivate and, and, and take care of my optimist heart. Um, I know that there are times in life where, you know, you get sideswiped or, you know, the, the unexpected happens and there are losses and there are tribulations and, and then there are triumphs as well. But how do we look after this optimist heart, the one that you can throw, launch into the air and just follow. How do we do that? This is the bubble that we're creating Sunday mornings at 9.30 for an hour. So I will have with me some really beautiful people who will share some of their story of how they have cultivated, how they have sustained, how they've taken care of and how they've maybe strengthened even and then been able to share that, utilize it um, and reap results. Because I think in life, definitely being able to live well today and not just even today, but this moment have my heart feel big and strong and, and generous, you know, not needy, not afraid, which it does sometimes, but then how do I recover? How do I come back to this sort of powerful, beautiful, generous motor of life? And we're going to work with that. We'll have artists and business people and politicians even, and um, scientists and human beings. 
human beings who show up to do what they're here to do, to live the life that, that they choose to create, but also that's full of the gift that they were born with. And each one of us is unique. Each one of us has come with some special facet that without it offered into the world, the world would be a poorer place. And our heart, and the fullness of that heart, then the sense of connectedness, of being part of a tribe, of not being alone, of being able to inspire and be inspired by others who care about our humanity, who care about beauty in the world, who care about kindness, who care. So this is going to be our bubble of the optimist heart within the big bubble of the Centre for Optimism. So look forward to you joining us 9.30 to 10.30 every Sunday. We'll be Zooming and I think we're going to be streaming out live on Facebook as well. So very welcome and very much look forward to having you with us.